Hi there, Colin with American Plant, and today we're going to be talking about big leaf hydrangea. That's hydrangea macrophylla. Uh, what's nice is there are, are a lot of different cultivars to pick from, and each cultivar has different color ranges that it can be depending on the uh, acidity of the soil. Uh, from blues to purples to pink, each one has a color range that it can fit in. Happy to help you pick out uh, what you're looking for and then also how to control the acidity of the soil to maintain that color that you like. Uh, all the big leaf hydrangea like part sun. Uh, in the perfect world they get just morning sun and dappled sunlight all day and maybe some very late evening sun. Uh, again, uh, uh, assessing the site where you'd like to plant them is very important. Uh, the right spot for a hydrangea macrophylla will really let it perform very, very well. All right, now that you found the right spot for your big leaf hydrangea and you picked out a nice cultivar that you like and a color range that you're looking for, uh, we're going to talk about pruning, uh, which you do not want to do in the fall. Uh, some of the newer hybrids will bloom off of some new wood, but in general, a good rule of thumb is they're going to bloom best off of old wood. Uh, so what does that mean? You're not going to prune in the fall, like I said. You're going to wait until late winter, early spring when they first start to leaf out and you're just going to clean up the plants. Uh, you're not really doing a whole lot of pruning. Now, anything that has died back completely and doesn't have any actively green growth on it, actively growing green growth rather, uh, you're going to go ahead and trim that out and clean it up uh, and that's going to give you the best chance of nice big blooms all season long uh, and you're not going to run the risk of losing those nice big summer blooms.